before we get into any argument. We need the context, okay? Opinion of Thomas Jefferson. Secretary of the State? Really? You see, I, uh, now it's like it's going even more and more. This is like, now listen to this. I'm going to read the whole thing. Cold, cold call. It's not that long. Let's see if I can do it. I, I'll, I'll read as far as I can. It might be overwhelming. Like I said, sometimes when I'm reading these things, it gets so overwhelming that I have to like stop and decompress because it like, that's weird because I've never read this on camera or while it's being recorded. And I like, like one page will take me like 25 minutes because it's so compressed. And I usually read it in a voice and I'm not reading it really in those voices right now. Opinion of Thomas Jefferson, Secretary of the State. The bill for establishing a national bank undertakes, among other things, one, to form the subscribers into a corporation, two, to enable them in their corporate capacity to receive grants of land insofar as against the laws of Mortlain, three, to make alien subscribers capable of holding lands insofar as against the law of alienage, Four, to transmit these lands on the death of a proprietor to a certain line of successors and so far changes the course of descents. Five, to put the lands out of the reach of forfeiture or escheat and so far is against the laws of forfeiture and escheat. Six, to transmit personal chattels to successors in a certain line and so far is against the laws of distribution. Seven, to give them the sole and exclusive right of banking under the national authority and so far as against the laws of monopoly. Eight, to communicate to them a power to make laws paramount to the laws of the states, for so they must be construed to protect the institution from the control of state legislatures, and so probably they will be construed. I consider the foundation of the Constitution is laid on this ground that all powers not delegated to the United States by the Constitution nor prohibited it by it to the states are reserved to the states or to the people. Twelfth Amendment. To take a single step beyond the boundaries thus specially drawn around the powers of Congress is to take possession of a boundless field of power no longer susceptible of any definition. Constitution check. I need to look this up because I, I don't remember reading this part about the 12th Amendment. <laughs> I just want to cross read that they changed the 12th Amendment from the days of Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> Our power is not delegated to the United States by the Constitution or reserved to the states or to the people. Let's see what we got here. Doesn't make distinct all persons. The person having the greatest number of votes, but in choosing the president shall vote. The Twelfth Amendment was ratified June 15th, 1804. That's not true. What? What? Uh-uh-uh. Wait, wait, wait. What's going on here? X-I-I. -I. That's 12, right? Because X-I-I-I -I -I is 13. It says right here, Twelfth Amendment. All powers not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states, are reserved to the states or to the people. Twelfth Amendment. The electors shall meet in their respective states. Shall And of persons with lists, they shall sign and certify, directed to the President of the Senate. The President having the greatest number of votes for the President. And no person have the majority. But in choosing the president, the vote shall be taken by the states. The quorum, majority of the states, shall not choose a president where the right of the choice be devolved upon them from before the fourth day of March next following. The person having the greatest number of votes from the two highest numbers on the list. But no person constitutionally ineligible to the office of president shall. This doesn't say anything about what he's quoting here. So who's wrong? Wait, wait, wait. Is the Commission on the Bicentennial of the United States Constitution wrong? Or is Documentary History of Banking and Currency in the United States by Cruz and Samuelson quoting to opinion of Thomas Jefferson, Secretary of the State, dated February 15, 1791, 
and identifying the 12th Amendment as saying, this is the quote, all power is not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states, are reserved to the states or to the people. Is that in an, is that, did they move that? Is that in another, no person, excessive, enumeration, power, okay, wait a second. Oh, wait, 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 this one says Amendment 10. Wait a second. What the hell is going on here? Though the Constitution controls the laws of more many... Did they change the amendments? Why would they swap the order of the friggin' amendments? The powers... Okay, it says... The powers not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states, are reserved to the states respectively, or to the people. Wait a second. Respectively. That's a big difference, guys. I, I mean, I don't know if... I mean, I don't... You don't really get any more... I, I don't know. What does this mean? I would, uh, it means something very different if that was the 12th Amendment than if it's the 10th Amendment. Because that leaves the question of, well, what was the 10th Amendment before? Were there two other amendments that were taken out? It is 1235 a.m. on June 16th, 2020. I think this is a constitutional calamity.